Oh no, it's nice to be here. It's nice to be here. It's nice to hear you're all enjoying your day. Uh, and it's you know it's it, it's since th since this was sort of announced and I was asked to be part of it, uh, I have been tagged and mentioned in more tweets and Facebook posts than I care to count. And uh, one thing that's been sort of you know a, th a word that's been in all of them has been you know inspirational or or, ins or inspiring or, or inspired. You know that that word has been in there somewhere. And. There is, there's some very, very inspirational people here today. Uh, it's just, I'm not one of them. I'm not, I'm genuinely not. I mean, look at me, right? <laughs> Seriously, I, I, didn't, I didn't even dress up for today. I mean, I turned up here at nine o'clock this morning. I went into the dressing room and everyone was sitting looking very smart. You know, nine o'clock in the morning, they, they looked awake. Old Scruffy McHugh came in looking for coffee, you know what I mean? It's honestly, I mean, I mean, like, like, I mean, you look at the other speakers you've been listening to today, you know, I mean, I mean, they, some, of the, some of them have sort of, you know, they've, they've looked adversity in the eye and went, is that all you got? You know, bring it on, they've, you know, they've overcome things. I mean, some people talking here today, they, you know, they, they've, they've, they've made a difference to people's lives, you know, they've changed things, right? Me, not so much. <laughs> So who on earth went, get that guy for this, he'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> what I done was, uh, I, I travelled the world, I uh, got paid for the privilege, doing a job that I dreamt of doing from the age of five. That's, that's what I done. I, I now do a job that uh, I dreamt of doing from the age of about 16. Okay? Uh, what I always dreamt of doing when I was five uh, was I always dreamt of one day becoming a yo-yo champion. <laughs> and yes, you, you, you heard that right, we didn't give your coffee the Irish upgrade. Yo-yo uh, <laughs> champion. That's, that's what I said. That's what I wanted to be. That, that's what I wanted to do. Now, I know some of you are probably now looking at me going, job is a yo-yo champion. That's not a job. <laughs> that's not even a thing. <laughs> <laughs> But it is, it is. Yo-Yo Champion is an actual legitimate job. People do it, right? And, and what Yo-Yo Champions do is uh, they, they go around the world, they travel the world, and uh, they go to countries, and what they do is they teach the children of those countries how to play with the Yo-Yo, and those kids enter competitions, and, and then at the end of it all, there's a big national competition, and that, you know, that country's Yo-Yo Champion is crowned, okay? <laughs> and the kids, you know, they go to competitions, they win in stuff like Playstations, and CD players, and TVs, and holidays, and all sorts of great stuff, right? And, and that, that, that's, that's, that's what I've done. That's, that's what I've done for a living. Two to three months at a time in a country, I thought, you know what, I fancy doing that for a living. And, and, you know, and, and I know I'm standing here telling you, you know, telling you what a yo-yo champion done for a living. And, and I'm sure if I don't actually show you what a yo-yo champion done for a living, you're going to be slightly disappointed. Uh, yes? yes? Looks like you're all going to be a bit disappointed. <laughs> no, really, that's not a joke. I don't have no, no. I do, I do, I do. I've got the ooze with me. I've got the ooze with me. Like I say, we went to countries, right? Went to countries, and uh, we uh, yes, yes, yes. See, the yo-yo's got an applause. Did you see that? <laughs> yes. Oh, look at that! Look at that! It's bad crack when the toy you brought on stage with you gets a bigger applause than you got. <laughs> but no, we did. We went right. We went around the world, and we did. We, we taught the kids the tricks, right? And, and the tricks that we taught them, you know, simple stuff for the competitions, like stuff like that. You throw the yo-yo at the floor, spins at the bottom. One, two, three, bang! Back to your hands, okay? Right. Now, when I do that, I like to pretend I'm using the force. See, brilliant stuff, right? And once you, once you taught the kids that, you can teach them this trick. This is called walk the dog, right? Everybody's favorite trick. Yes, yes, you love that trick. She really loved that trick, right? <laughs> Normally, women not so impressed by this. I, 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 I uh, traveled the world, couldn't get a girlfriend. Uh, you know, there was this trick here, it was called Over the Falls. Every country we went to, it was called Over the Falls. Till we got to Northern Ireland. <laughs> Up the shankle. <laughs> We're a strange place. You know, but we taught the kids these tricks. There was this one here, it was called jump the fence. You done that, you done that, you flicked it, it went around and up, bang, caught the thing. That's not impressive, this is not impressive. If you think that's impressive, just wait till you see, right? Because the thing was, to be a yo-yo champion, those tricks were good enough, those were the tricks we taught kids, right? These were the tricks that we had to do. There's a star, right? Woo! Uh, I've never been in Paris, so I've seen the end of the car. Yeah. Uh, we're here, so I'm going to do uh, one of these. That's a shot. <laughs> <laughs> very, 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 very simple stuff, right? Still sitting there going, yeah, that's all very good and the yo-yos are great, but what what are you getting at, mate? <laughs> Where is this going? <laughs> right? And what, what I'm trying to sort of get across is that I 
have, I, I'd done this job that, that most people don't even believe existed, never mind someone could actually do, right? And that's what, that, I'd done that job. It was my dream, and I'd done it, and I achieved it. And I'm, of, I'm often asked, like, hey, how did you do it? How did you achieve that dream? How did you achieve doing that job? All I'd done was ask a question. That was it. This, the, you know, I'd love to stand here and tell you that my sole focus in life was to be a yo-yo champion and I gave every working minute of my life towards being a yo-yo champion. You know, it's, it's not, I asked the question, it's all I don't. You know, th this isn't one of these, you know, oh, I quit my job and chased my dream stories, right? You know, I, I wasn't going to quit my job and chase my dream. I liked having a house and, and eating. You know what I mean? <laughs> kind of needed the job, you know. That's all I'd done. All I'd done was ask a question. I seen a guy in Belfast when I was five. He was playing with a yo-yo, right? And I turned around to my cousin and went, I'm going to be one of them when I grow up. And he laughed at me, right? Which, you know, was probably fair enough. But then when I was 16, I seen another guy in Belfast and he was doing the yo-yo thing. And again, I went, I am going to do that when I grow up, right? To the point where I was in careers at 16 with, with a teacher that we all called Groucho. He was the scariest teacher in the school. And he said, McHugh, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I went, sir, I want to be a yo-yo champion. <laughs> Glad you think that's funny. Two weeks detention, that cost me. <laughs> <laughs> But I did, I, you know, I went, and I, you know, what happened was, like I say, I asked the question, I was in Belfast, 16 years of age, there was a guy standing there, he was doing his yo-yo thing, now he was doing some crazy tricks, right, I mean, he was, he was doing tricks like this, he was flicking around like that, and, and landing on strings, and, and, you know, and doing this, and that, and the other, you know, he was doing that kind of thing, you know, he was just standing on the street, like this, right, you know, he was defying gravity, and I said, I'm going to do that, that's the job that I want to have for them, and all I go on next day, is I walk up here, how do you go about being a yo-yo champion? Well, I don't. He turned around and said, he says, Paris, if you can go back to me within the next four weeks, he says, I'm going to come to you for the next four weeks. He says, if you can go back to me within four weeks, and you show me that you can play with two yo-yos at once, he says, you can go to your as a yo-yo champion. And I did. A couple of weeks later, I went back. I've done that. That's not even my closer, so you know there's something awesome coming. <laughs> no, the point, the, the point I'm trying to make, what, what, what I hope that you know, people can take away from what I've been talking about is, uh, you know, because the whole thing of today is about your future and all that kind of thing. Uh, look, look, I am no different from anyone else in this room, okay? Like I say, I'm not inspirational, never have been, possibly never will be, right? I'm, I'm no different from any of you guys, right? I, I'm just a guy from North Belfast who got lucky. That's all I am, right? And, you know, you're, 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 everyone in here, you have complete control over your own future. You might not feel like that now, but you do. You can start shaping your future, and you can start doing it right now. Okay, well, I'd actually prefer to you wait till I finish talking, but you know what I'm getting at, right? You can, you can shape your own future. You can take control of your own future, and, and, and away you go. You can do it today, and all you have to do is ask a question. That's it. It's nothing big, it's nothing grand, it's nothing scary, it's asking a question, right? If you're sitting there now and you have your dream job or your dream life and the future that you have and you're going towards is what you want, congratulations, fair play. It's the best thing in the world to be able to say. I, I've done it, I can say it, right? But if you don't, right, that doesn't mean your life's bad. You might just want to do something else, right? If you want to be a teacher, oh, it's huge, it's a big thing to have to do. Just go find a teacher and go, how do I go about getting a job as a teacher? The minute you've asked that question, you've got your answer, that's it, you're on your way. You have shaped your future in that very moment to what you want to be. You want to be a nurse? Go find a nurse. Ask him, how do I go about being a nurse? 
You want to move to Australia? Work there. Just Google how do I emigrate to Australia. Find your question and ask your question. It's all you got to do to control your own future. It's not big and it's not scary. You know. I mean, now, like I say, the other job, the, the job I do now, was a job I dreamt of doing from when I was 16. I'm now, I, I now, I'm a stand-up comedian. Right. How did that happen? <laughs> I know. How did that happen? <laughs> I walked up to a guy and went, can I be a comedian for the night? He went, yeah, come on in, do seven minutes, done seven minutes. And from then on, it's, it's, it's just, you know, snowballed four years about it now. And from asking that one very simple question, I've now toured with some of my comedy heroes. I mean, I, I toured with Patrick Keatley this year, done seven nights on his tour. Uh, I toured with a guy called Mickey Bartlett. I've done two tours with him. If you haven't heard of him yet, trust me, you will. Right? Uh, I've worked with Jake O'Kane, some of my favorite comedians, all because I asked a question, something so insignificant and tiny, I asked the question. That's all you have to do, guys. It genuinely is, right? It might sound stupid, but trust me, it's, 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 that's your first step. That's you on your way, right? And, and the thing is, how, how, did I, how did I end up being the comedian, right? How did that happen? When you see, I discovered there was a comedy club in Oma. How did I discover there was a comedy club in Oma? Well, I moved to Oma from Belfast. Why did I move to Oma from Belfast? Well, you see, my wife was from Oma, met her, married her. She wanted to move home. I came with her, right? How did I meet my wife? I met my wife when I was doing a job. That job was being a yo-yo champion. <laughs> how did I become a yo-yo champion? I asked a guy in the street in Belfast, how do I go about being a yo-yo champion? That tiny wee moment in my, just asking a question shaped my entire future. I'm where I am now because I asked that question way back then. And if you're sitting there thinking, this guy's obviously not right in the head. <laughs> you're probably right, but I'm not going to that. <laughs> But if you are, if you're sitting there going this, that, you know, I, I can't do that. You know, I can't control my own future. Asking a question isn't going to shape your own future. If you're thinking that, right, go away later on and just think to yourself, that wee skinny guy from Belfast, he was a yo-yo champion. <laughs> right? It doesn't have to be extreme. Just ask, find your question, ask your question, shape your future, okay? And I'm going to leave you with, with a quote, okay, from a very, very famous man. He was a doctor, which means he was obviously very smart and you would have talking about it. Right? His name was Dr. Emmett Brown. Might have heard of him. <laughs> now, this quote might not be word for word, so don't be emailing in, okay? <laughs> but basically what he said was, he said that, uh, that your future's not been written yet. Nobody's has. Your future's what you make it. So be sure to make it a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Terry McHugh. Thank you very much. <laughs>